let's bring you a development-based sports story. Now, a project started in 2016 by two brothers and pupils of Ghana International School, Kwebna and Echo NT, to collect used but decent boots for underprivileged kids playing football barefooted has received a lot of support. Now, this morning, the boots were donated to the 37-based Phoenix FC. Now, Joy Sports assistant editor Ridwan Ibrahim Asante was there. In 2016, two pupils of Ghana International School started a campaign dubbed Boots for Charity, where they collected used but decent boots for underprivileged kids playing football barefooted. The campaign got a huge endorsement when CAF President Ahmad paid the brothers Kwabna and Echo NT a visit last year in school. In 2018, other philanthropists have joined. Coles Football Club in Switzerland donated to Jennifer Fee, who defrayed the cost of shipping, and her son Bruno. Also, Miss Sedina Agama, who is based in the UK, collected booze and shipped for free. At the school's assembly this morning, the presentation was done. Let's hear from head coach of Phoenix FC, Prince Medals. Football is on the decline in Ghana. Not just Ghana, but all of Africa. But Ghana is where I live. So, and football is on the decline here, but it's on the rise in the West. I mean, we find players being sold for little or nothing. Uh, the, the Premier League is, is non-existent. I mean, so we at Phoenix, we want to do something about it. Like I said, it's not just about football boots, but it's also about getting the communi community involved in football so we can actually have a vibrant football league in the community. If we have a vibrant football league in the community where the players also are getting spectators to come in, they're making money, then you know what? We can have a vibrant football league in the country. Also, Miss Helen List played a key part in bringing boots from Europe to the country. Um, I was just mentioning to a guest in the hotel that the, there were children, I don't even know how it came up, that there were children in the school who were running um, a boot drive to uh, find, um, you know, gently used boots for uh, children here who, don't, who can't afford to buy boots um, and who play football barefoot. And uh, he just said, oh, my son, is in a football team in Switzerland, he could, I'm sure they could send a few boots over because these kids get new boots every year practically and they, they grow out of them before they wear them out. So um, he said, oh, look, I'll, I'll be happy to um, facilitate this. And the next time he came down to Accra, he came with boxes and boxes of boots. Two boys and their mother, and this was what they had to say. I'm a call and uh, I started the boot drive with my brother two years ago. We didn't really expect anything big. We didn't expect this much, um, let's say, feedback. We just thought that it would be something small. We give a few boots and that's it. But as you've seen, as you've seen, we've got more boots from different places and this is becoming a global thing. Uh, my name is Kwabna and as he said, when we started, we didn't expect this to become global. We just expected to give people a few boots to help the community. When I was becoming bigger and bigger, we, we hope to give more boots. I am um, excited that this has grown beyond what we any expectation that we had. Um, it was a simple thing of seeing a need and trying to fill the need. But um, we've had so much support that it just shows that all you need to do is do something little and other people will just join you, especially when you're giving and we all just need to give some more. Vice principal of the junior school also had thoughts about the whole project and how the boys are helping the school's image. Um, it definitely um, boosts our image. Uh, we are an excellent school, we know that. Um, but this is definitely one of those things that um, falls in line with our strategic plan um, of giving back to the community. Um, our responsibility um, as far as giving back, recognizing the needs around us. Uh, we're not just an island unto ourselves. Uh, we know that there are needs out there and for our students to recognize that and to care um, enough and do something about it, um, that's significant. And uh, for them to come back to our community here, share what that need is, and for us to partner with them and do this um, means a great deal to the school. And as, as you have seen, um, it's somewhat taken off a global uh, uh, um, arm. Uh, we have boots coming in from the UK, we have boots coming in from Switzerland um, to bless uh, our, our children um, here in Africa.